<laughs> let's dispel the three nutrition myths that come up in my comments the most and people wildly take us back. First off, does microwaving your food kill the nutrition content? All high heat and all cooking, depending on what nutrition you're looking at, has some effect. It can make it more positive or it could make it negative. But studies have shown that due to the shorter time and the lower temperatures of microwaving, it can actually improve and keep the nutrition better than cooking on the stovetop or cooking in the oven. Two, oxalates. Most people don't know what oxalates are. Oxalates are something that can cause kidney stones if you're prone to kidney stones that are found in a lot of different vegetables. So a lot of people don't eat foods that have oxalates. Boiling vegetables neutralizes oxalates and pairing with calcium also neutralizes oxalates. So you don't have to avoid food with oxalates. You just have to boil it, cook it, pair it with calcium and you should be fine. But of course, talk to your doctor if you're prone to kidney stones or they advise you against it. And then lastly, there is a difference between a histamine response and an inflammatory response. Yes, they are both immune system responses. However, just because a food is high in histamine doesn't mean it doesn't go on an anti-inflammatory diet. They are two different things. A histamine reaction is what you get with allergies. It's very fast, it's very brief. It is an immune system response, generally over and done with in 15 minutes to maybe an hour or two. Inflammatory reaction, however, is something that's more chronic. It is a total body systemic reaction to a food that can last for days, weeks, and cause a cascading event of things to happen as the body kind of starts to go haywire. So if you have a histamine reaction to foods, then yes, you should avoid that food. If you are on an anti-inflammatory diet, just because it's a high histamine food, does not mean that you shouldn't eat it. Anyway, let me know what other questions you have in the comments and I hope this helps.